How did I come to write these pieces? I had heard something of mine, I forget done, what at the, at the Napa Festival about two years ago. And we went, it so happens we went to Salzburg and other places in Europe for a couple of weeks right after. And as always, I took my electronic keyboard with me. And I uh, was able to write four of these, I think four of these songs within those two weeks, as well as seeing a lot of opera. What inspires me to tell you the truth is mostly great verse and great literature and great music of other composers, particularly if there are composers like me who are very much tonal and prefer the major minor scales rather than, than atonal. I use a splash of atonality here and there, but I can go all night without any if it, if it isn't called for. There's something about a, something about a chorus. It's a whole different kind of experience than a solo singer. Just somehow it moved me. There, I think I'm the same me. Uh, I, I write different kinds of music, but they're all me. And young America has humor in it as well as heartbreak. And that's what you find uh, in the CD too. How do I feel about my collaboration with these artists? That's James and this orchestra. Uh, again, I'm in good hands on both counts. This is a pretty good orchestra. Well, I think um, often in life you have plans and there are some surprises here and there. And this particular meeting was a surprise and it was a good surprise uh, in the sense that I got to know some of the, just the tip of an iceberg of, of a composer's music in a very short period of time. It was Russian National Orchestra at the Napa uh, Music Festival in California. And it was so much fun to bring these few pieces to life on a short period of time. And, and it was clear that his music was full of wit and, and character. And also, I think it's very rare for a composer to set English well. As we all know, Benjamin Britten and Samuel Barber did it so well. But it's rare for, for another composer to do that. It always feels stagnant. It feels stuck. You feel like you're making excuses for the language. But I found in these few choral pieces I conducted, there was, it was full of charm and, and it was natural in, in a lot of ways. And I think I, I commend you for that and, I, and I, I appreciate this music because I think you have a beautiful love for the English language and, and the poets and, and the words themselves. Thank you much. the future of this recording as being. Well, I hope it goes platinum and sells 87 zillion copies and is played on every radio station dawn to dusk. <laughs> That's what I hope. <laughs>